Hello guys, I have three really good tips for you guys today on how to elevate your client experience because what I want is I want you to be able to give your clients a great experience, uh, have them purchasing more photos and have them telling all their friends and coming back for more photo shoots. I have a way for you to elevate the client experience before the photo shoot even happens. I have a method that's actually going to work for you and how how you work with your photo shoots. I'll explain a little bit more in a little bit. And then I have something for you to do after the photo shoot. And these are all things that are gonna elevate the experience. Again, the whole point here is to give them a better experience. Um, they're gonna purchase more photos. They're gonna tell more of their friends. They're gonna come back for a photo shoot, all that great stuff. So the first thing that I would like to recommend for you guys to do, if you're not already doing this, is to do a client questionnaire before they come in for their photo shoot. Some of the questions that I ask on my questionnaire are, um, you know, how would you like your hair styled? Would you like it straight? Would you like it, um, you know, big with, you know, some loose curls? Um, would you like your makeup to be more natural or more dramatic? Um, I asked them who their favorite artist is, what kind of music they like, um, things like that. I asked them where they shop. And those are just a few of the questions in my questionnaire. And all of the questions I ask specifically so that I can gain insights on certain things. So for example, when I ask them about who their favorite musician is, I ask that so that I can play that particular Pandora station um, on my phone uh, or on my, whatever you call it, the, <laughs> the thing that my phone plugs into with the speakers. I think it's like an iPod dock or something. Anyways, um, or from your computer. But the cool thing is that the clients will show up and they'll be like, oh my gosh, how did you know that I liked, you know, Lady Gaga or whatever? And, I, and I'm just like, must have just been a hunch, you know, because it's on the questionnaire, uh, which is so cool. And then they feel even more like at home and all that cool stuff. So that's definitely something you're going to want to do um, that will help with the client experience. Also in the questionnaire, I asked them what products they're the most interested in at that point. So are they the most interested in an album or a box or, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And then the cool thing is that actually helps me to know like what they're the most interested in in terms of their sales session so that I can give them an even better experience when it comes to uh, the Davo session as well. The next tip that I want to leave you guys with on how to elevate your client experience is I need you, yes you, <laughs> to have confidence in what you're doing, okay? So it's really going to help the client experience if you are super confident in whatever it is that you're doing. You're confident in using your camera. You're confident in posing. You're confident in talking to your clients. You're confident in telling them the different facial expressions, all that kind of stuff. Because if you're like nervous or flustered or, you know, oh my gosh, I can't find my lens or, you know, not confident in your posing abilities, that's definitely going to reflect your clients like, they know what's going on. They're going to be like, this feels awkward or this doesn't feel right or whatever that is. So you definitely need to be like practicing when it comes to all of those things. Make sure that you are getting all of your gear charged, ready to go. Everything is exactly where you know it is. Make sure you're super organized. Make sure you know your core poses. Make sure you know which poses you're going to flow through, which sets you're going to use. You get their outfits ready, all of that stuff ready in advance because that's really what's gonna instill confidence in you is being organized and practicing and really knowing what you're doing. And that's going to reflect in your client experience. Um, I just know, you know, I've done hundreds of boudoir shoots, maybe, I wonder if it's even over a thousand now. <laughs> and I just know that I'm so confident when it comes to like posing and shooting and lighting and all this stuff because simply just because I've done it so much, it's not even that I, watched certain tutorials on it or anything like that. It, it's just the, the act of just doing it over and over and over and over. So if you feel like you need practice with those things, uh, make sure that you're, you know, doing a booty call and, you know, getting models in, practicing, um, because you definitely need to be confident when it comes to your clients. Because if you're like, oh my gosh, I love this, you know, photo, like pose this way and you're super confident about it, that's going to have them loving the photo even more and having how they, um, uh, having them love how they look in the photo as well. The third tip is for you to leave your clients with a thank you card. So what I do is 
At the end of the photo shoot, I thank them. I tell them what they can expect next. So I'll say to them, you know, oh, you can expect your order in up to three weeks. So anytime between now and three weeks from now, you can expect an email or a phone call or a text from me and I do whatever means of communication that they prefer. If they prefer Facebook, I'll do that. If they prefer text, I'll do that. If they prefer email, I'll do that, whatever it is. Um, I'm all about making it easy for them, right? And then um, when I contact them, they'll come in to pick up their order or I'll drop ship their order. Depends again on what they want. And what I do with their order, if I drop ship it, I'll send this separately because the drop shipper doesn't, it doesn't work this way. But if they come to pick up their order um, in their order bag, along with their album or whatever it is that they purchased, I will have um, two things. I will have a handwritten thank you card. Okay. So like I did in my last Facebook live, I am not about giving gifts. Okay. The gift is the photo shoot. The gift is what they purchased. Right. But um, you should definitely handwrite them a thank you card. Just say, you know, thank you. Like, say something particular about their photo shoot. So be like, oh my gosh, it was so funny when, like, um, you know, we couldn't get your necklace on or whatever. I don't know. Like, I had so much fun. It feels like we've been friends forever. Um, I really hope you love your photos as much as I do. I can't wait to see you in really soon for your next boudoir shoot. Something like that. Um, and then I also put in there a... It's like a five by seven card. And basically what it is, is it is for a complimentary photo shoot. So I tell them if they schedule something within um, X months, they can get a complimentary photo shoot uh, with a hundred dollar credit. And I actually allow them to use that for themselves or to gift it to a friend. So I allow them to use it for a photo shoot for them or to gift it um, to a friend or for like a couple's boudoir session or something like that. So yeah, those are my three tips for um, elevating the client experience. So number one, again, is doing a client questionnaire. Make sure that you like, make sure that you're not just like making up questions. They need to actually make sense. So for example, like I said earlier, I asked them, you know, where do you shop? And that's good information. Okay, well, if I see all of my best clients shop at this one store, then maybe I should start advertising with that store or doing Facebook ads, targeting people who like that. Uh, stores page or something like that. You know, I ask them their favorite song, their favorite music, their favorite musician, so I can play that music at their photo shoot. Um, I ask them what products are the most interested in so that I don't have to guess. I can, you know, tailor their photo shoot and all that stuff towards what they're the most interested in at that time. Um, having confidence in your methods. That's really going to help you give a better client experience when you are just really focused on your client and making sure that they have a good time and you're not fumbling or stumbling or confused about, you know, what post should I do next? Um, am I doing this right? Is my battery charged? <laughs> Whatever that is. Um, so you can just have a really, really great photo shoot. And the third one was doing a handwritten thank you card in with their order. Um, so those are three different ways that you can make um, just a fantastic client experience, ways that you can get them to purchase more photos, tell more of their friends about a photo shoot with you, and of course have them coming in for repeat photo shoots. All right, I will let you guys go to get some work done and empower more women around the world. Talk to you guys later. Bye.